Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves is talking about job creation and better schools in the Magnolia State. Reeves is making a second run for a second term in the governor's mansion. WRG's Alice Coleman talked with the governor about his accomplishments and challenges during the past four years. Less than a week after filing for re-election, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves is out making his case on why he believes he deserves four more years in office. I ran for governor because I wanted to uh, work hard to, to make Mississippi an even better place to invest capital and an even better place to create jobs, an even better place to raise a family. and. And we've made a lot of progress. Reeves, a conservative Republican, says since becoming governor, progress was made on limiting abortion rights, cutting the state's income tax, and increasing workforce development. As people move into uh, DeSoto County and Marshall County and Tate County and, and other counties in the surrounding area, uh, largely because of the fact that there is a, uh, a wide availability of jobs, and most of those jobs are paying significantly higher than uh, the state average. In Mississippi classrooms, Reeves touts higher salaries for teachers and students who are performing better in math and reading. We have the highest high school graduation rate in our state's history. We have the lowest dropout rate in our state's history. Our fourth grade reading and fourth grade math results are better today than at any time in our state's history. The governor admits there have been challenges. We've inherited some, some real challenges and then with the natural disasters that occurred in, in the early part of my uh, tenure, it certainly uh, led us to, to have to deal with COVID and other things. Other things such as the water crisis in Jackson, the state's capital city, where some Democratic leaders criticize the state's response. On August the 29th of this year, uh, it got to a point that it was so bad uh, that we felt like we had to step up and, and take away the, the, the control from the city leadership, the uh, the city leaders. Uh, we did that on August the 29th. Within two days, we were able to return water pressure to the city, and within two weeks, we were able to um, return clean water. Reeves says running for re-election, his mission remains the same as when he first ran for governor. I didn't get elected to hide our problems. I didn't get elected to hide our challenges. I got, I got elected to help fix them. And that's what we're working toward. Reeves says running for re-election, his mission remains the same as when he first ran for governor. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Interestingly, Reeves is expected to face a re-election challenge from several GOP candidates who battled him on several political stages during his first term in office.